welcome to Hanover. We would like to present the Institute for Music, uh, music, music Physiology and Musicians Medicine. In this institute, um, research is being conducted upon the relationship between music and the brain. Research is being done uh, through the use of the, the electro electroencephalography and uh, fun functional fMRI. Ja, die Adresse haben Sie ja. Aber einen Moment bitte noch. Chocolate? Hello. My research project um, is to turn movements into sounds. Um, we're working on that. It's not such an easy task. Um, yes, and we want to use that in future um, to help stroke patients uh, to get a good rehabilitation of their proprioception. Hello, my name is Michael and I'm responsible at the Institute for IT maintenance, uh, computer infrastructure and uh, software. Um, for our everyday work as well as for uh, our research, that is uh, data acquisition and data analysis, we use Linux workstations. We do so because um, Linux is just as user friendly as any operating system, for example Windows. Um, as we say in German, two bears in a pond are too much for a frog, or in that case for a penguin. of an EEG experiment. We have to be quiet because we don't want to introduce any noise in our brain waves. So let's have a look. Here we can see that the calibration is okay. As far as the light is green, yes, we can move forward with the recording. So let's go closer to the screen, please. So here we can see what is happening inside to the brain. Different brain waves coming out and recorded ah, from and our what electrodes. Is, and what is that line there on the top? Ah, on the top it's actually a flat wave. Yes. Yes, this is what is happening when you remove the whole frontal lobe. Yes. Ah, yes. Actually, the idea of our experiment was to remove all the lobes from the brain ah, so you yeah. can record directly on the basal ganglia and in the cerebellum. That's nice. Yes, yes, yes. A very innovative experiment for the first time in our institute. And yes. that's why, so you get the cerebellum waves there on the bottom, no? Yes, but I can see some alpha waves actually, which ah. means that probably our patient is sleeping. I see. We have to check it. Yeah. So, we're going back to our lovely device and as far as the green line is still on, we have to go to check directly the patient. Yeah. So, but we have to be quiet. Yeah. Yes, it seems okay. Ah!
Okay, so hello, my name is Andre, and I'm um, working in this institute to measure tremor in musicians. So we've already started an experiment with one participant here in whom we would like to measure tremor, which you can nicely see on this screen, which is uh, recorded by this highly sensitive accelerometer. Well, but I can't see anything there. What it's am I supposed to see? You're supposed to see the tremor, actually. Okay. okay. But maybe... Well, there's so much to see. Maybe if we have to change a little the, the settings. And actually, now after changing the settings, you can see finally we have the signal we actually wanted to have the whole time. But it's nicely visible. So this is what we intend to quantify and to measure, to have an impression what it's like in musicians. And finally, now this is finally the signal we wanted to have. Have a look at this nice tremor. And this is really extraordinary. Hello and welcome to the motion capture lab of the IMMM. I'm Dr. Schoondewald and I'm a specialist in bowing movements. I'm studying bowing movements in any kind of creatures, for example humans or monkeys. I think bowing movements are the most interesting thing from, from a motor control point of view. Okay, so let me explain what we see here. Oh, but first I have to turn down the sound. Yes, yeah, so what we see here is a highly interesting example of expert behavior. Let, let me go back a while. Here we see the, the circular patterns. It's, it's a highly coordinated movement, and this is something which is um, the result of years and years of practicing. Yes, so it might be clear that this kind of technology has a high pedagogical potential. So actually we just started a project where we are going to apply this in an educational context. Uh, we have here somebody who is for the first time practicing this for the first time. And you can see it's a very difficult movement to perform. It's highly complex and, and you see the result is also quite poor. So we are going to have a couple of sessions and give them feedback and let's see what happens. Is it okay for you? Yes. But you have long hair, so... <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, hello, my name is Shinichi, and my research is to stimulate the brain, not for fun, but for my research. So my research is to help for a pianist who is suffering from focal dystonia. So I'm going to stimulate such a pianist to make their finger movement more accurately. <laughs> Maybe I have to stimulate it by myself.